Hey everyone, hope all is well. Welcome to today's video. So today I am going to talk about a topic which is very recurring these days because it's business school season. We had uh, ISB round one results coming uh, day before yesterday, and we have the round two deadlines in a couple of weeks or so. So I thought that it's best to you know give my opinion and uh, share my experiences when it comes to. Writing my ISB essays uh, six years back and uh, essays with our mentees who reach out to us for uh, B school applications mentorship uh, over the last four years. So there are a lot of notions on you know how to write essays, how to stand out, how to make a compelling narrative, and these are my own strong personal views. So please uh, consider them before you uh, you know bake them into your <laughs> narrative and writing style. Uh, so what I have seen for ISB specifically uh, is firstly that you know people talk a lot about that you know you have to be poetic, you have to insert a quote at the start of the essay. I frankly feel it doesn't really matter, right? So I think from what I have seen from our mentees' experiences who have gotten through, and even from my own experience, uh, it doesn't really matter if you use Shakespearean vocabulary or. if you you know be poetic in your story and it applies for everybody be it you are a ylp and applying as a college student be it an eo or be it a pgp applicant i think what really matters is you getting to the crux of the story which is what do you want to explain right from the get go right so i'll give you an example let's say you are applying for isb in 2023 or even in the next admission cycle the essay topics were changed this year so they'll most probably remain the same in the next year also so you know uh people try to forcefully insert a quote in their first lines and my writing style uh says that you straight away start with the story for example if uh you're attempting the second essay of the pgp applications this year which is you know talk about a situation of success situation of failure so people you know try to write that failure and success are two sides of the same coin etc etc all of that see frankly it's a 400 words long essay i believe if you're writing this stuff you're wasting your words if i was the applicant this year i would have straight away started with you know re uh, reminiscing about my journey till now i believe this has been my most memorable success and then straight away get to it right that's my writing style and i think that's what worked for our mentees also who got through in round 1 that's one which is be direct don't be poetic don't try to forcefully uh, insert words which you don't personally resonate with uh, just for the sake of it secondly i think people spend a lot of time in writing and less time in thinking but it should be the other way around right which is people should spend 70% of their time in thinking that this is the anecdote that i want to talk about right because you might have had success or failure or you might have had a notable internship or you might have started a club or you might have done volunteering or you want to showcase empathy as a strength in the first essay you want to showcase that you're a hustler in the first essay whatever it is think about it first think about a back story and later on write don't get fixated on writing and writing and writing right writing can be done in half an hour but if it's a shitty story if it's a shitty raw material you will not get through right i have had a lot of my mentees personally who are so fixated on writing the first draft without structuring the essay without figuring out that these are two three things that i want to talk about that they end up writing a futile first draft for the lack of a better word and they have to redo it because then i tell them that you know introspect more and give me a better story when i'm writing them writing the essays with them for them right so that's the second part which is 70% time should be spent on thinking once you're super clear on which life story or work anecdote you want to present in your essay then it's super easy to write right and lastly i feel people think that you know there has to be a connector line in each and every essay again not true there are some essays which have to be connected from one para to the second para let's take the example of the first essay it's you know uh, it's about giving the school an honest portrayal of yourself and who or what has shaped your journey till now 
and let's say you're talking about your life right so it's imperative to connect that you know i went to school i did these choices and the second paragraph should start with that you know college gave me op- gave me the opportunity to indulge in volunteering or start a club or do stand up comedy whatever it is so there needs to be a connect- connector line in between the two paragraphs because the essay by design requires that but the second essay is two distinct situations one of success one of failure now there if you forcefully try to insert a connector line then you're wasting your words so my third suggestion essentially is that take every essay differently with a different mindset right some essays by design want a connector line in between the why behind the what some essays have to be two different blocks of text not connected to each other like the second essay right so this is what i wanted to discuss these three learnings which i have had specifically from the round 1 admits that we have had this year because the essay topics were changed this year so we had to change our whole methodology of writing but i hope these three suggestions help you and i'll uh, see you very soon all the best for your b school application